You know, the whole Freeman thing and stuff like that, does it ever feel like there was yeah. supposed to be a plot in this area that just never appears? Because that's like the feeling I'm getting, just like, okay, was there supposed to be some story here? Because let's be honest, this area has been basically pure gameplay. And not in a good way. It's just like the first area with the conflict between the major and temperature feeling. Okay, there's a story here. And the story is just not there. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? So you get the feeling that there's intended to be a story here, but it never really manifests. Okay, so what, I'm supposed to go through here and then up here? Oh, beautiful. Well, I guess if nothing else will allow me to restock our supplies, so I guess I shouldn't complain too much, but still. Can I sell somewhere in camp? Is there a place I can sell? Inspect requisitions, equip potions, change party, sleep, sleep, sleep. Is there one of these that's... Can I sell stuff? I don't remember being able to do so. No. Did I sell it you? No. You know, that's, that's really one thing they should equip our camps with. The ability to sell shit. It should be like standard. But no. It isn't. And I really don't get why. Why do I need to travel all the way back to the elves to find somebody who will exchange my stuff for gold? This locale is somewhat interesting. Gotta admit that. I mean, the locales are beautiful, but they're just kind of hollow, I guess I would say. I know I'm complaining yeah, yeah. a lot, but it's pretty hard not to when the things I'm complaining about are constantly, constantly present. And I do. I don't have to talk about the gameplay, so. Waiting for. You don't seem to have problems in taking the initiative in other times. Ow. to find. Somebody get this guy off me! an area I can play more here. Yeah. Let's go do that. Broken dog. 
I intended to take a charcoal rubbing of the beautiful elven carving on the stone to present to a scholar at the University of Leigh from translation. For translation. Unfortunately, I halfway through the process, the chilling sensation of something brushing my leg beneath the dark water interrupted me. A drop of scroll and charcoal stick began running, and I stumbled until it was on dry ground. From a journey through the dales by Lord Horus Metaphor, adventurer. You are an example for us all, I guess. Stupid mud and water and something brushed against my leg. <laughs> Shut it. I'm right. It's wrong and horrible. Yeah. <sighs> I'd be more concerned with those things up ahead if I were you. There. Oh dear. Hello there. Danny Dinosaur didn't see you. You guys over there better stay at distance. Or we'll wreck your shit. And everything else for that matter. But since I have to remind you, you're supposed to attack the demons. Ugh, with that smell. Okay, is someone breathing in my ear? Because let's just rude. And why fucking laugh? Okay, let's boy fucking laugh in another direction than what that thing is. The dragon? Oh why are there dragons everywhere? Why am I supposed? I know this is the dragon age, but why am I supposed to be like rare? I claim this place, offering to the Dread Wolf. The Danes believe that Fen Harel, the Dread Wolf, locked the gods of good and evil away. Only he walks free. Or they see him as a betrayer, Elves still erecting El still erect shrines to Fen Harel. One man may do not revere him so much as to seek to appease him, lest they, lest they draw his gaze. From the pursuit of knowledge, the trials of Chandra Scholar by Brother Genitivi. Right, and we have to get to that thing out there, despite there being a friggin' dragon in the area. That's going to be fun. Oh. Okay, so this is like really hot stuff. Apparently. Oh wait, did it heal me? Nope. No, it's poisonous. I was just wondering what the green on the wind, but no, that's poisonous. Oh, it's lying away. Good. That's good. Not good for whoever has to work here to get all these things out of here, but whatever. I'm sure we'll manage. I 
I don't like that sound. Amazing creatures, dragons. Every one I encounter has had a unique personality. This one, for example, just being around Bora. So I was blasting about. A remarkable sign. I would have joined in a rebel had Kalio not moved me back. Ah, Kalio. Good porter, but timid. So Kalio and the others. Dragons much prefer to eat beasts of the wilds rather than humans. Unfortunately, uh, it was proved wrong. They let the creature turn away from a gorgo gorg and took off to poor Kalo. Another brave little soul got to see the magnificent dome of a golem. I'm certainly dying this inside of the grand cathedral. You have a strange way of phrasing things. Okay, the dragon is back. But fortunately for us, we can teleport out of here. So screw you. And goodbye. Okay, so I rode ahead just in case it would take some time, and I think I found the place. It figures where that it's... most of the fighting happened here and not in Orlay proper. Finally. So how was I supposed to know that? That dog doesn't even. That dog not even like out in the open or anything. Uh, you can't tell, and you don't tell me it couldn't have been a glitch. It was. Well, let's see. <sighs> Map of Inavuris. Legend of the Three Sisters, Book One. The Legend of Les Troisures is often repeated in Halle and has an incredible number of variations. In some, the sisters depicted as innocent on the surface, but eagerly engaging in bawdy exploits the moment they escape from their chaperone. In others, the sisters are heroic, valiantly solving any number of problems, sometimes unintentionally, before returning home. In still others, the sisters are clueless, bumbling from one adventure to the next, unwittingly leaving riots and chaos in their wake. The nature depends on who is telling a story or where they heard it last. Sometimes it's a raunchy tale from tavern drunks, other times it's a scandalous tale told to criticize either the Empress or the Chantry. There are some elements in common between all these stories, however. They are always around they always around they always revolve around the adventures of three sisters of the Montbelliard clan. Brielle, Marie and Sirius. They are depicted as young women, typical of Valetian nobility, first in social graces, but innocent of the world outside of their sheltered existence. One day, while traveling with a chaperone, almost referred to as Le Bete, and usually depicted as a large and addictive woman, they become separated and lost on the streets of Val Royu. Well, after finding themselves alone, the three sisters panic and end up in the famous Belle Marche, an area of the capital renowned for its garish and celebratory seediness. In all versions of the legend, this is where the sisters' adventure truly begin. In other words, not much different from, no from adventures in real life. Right, so notice a lot of these quest players just like try to find this landmark somewhere in this ginormous map. And no, you're not getting a hint where that might be. Not at all. As if it isn't bad enough when I actually have to run around when it does give me a hint. Now it's even vague. Of all the ruins, how am I supposed to remember where that particular formation is, huh? Right, so apparently this must be beneath here somehow. So let's go look for the door. See how easy it is to find. Is it over here, maybe? Uh, it's probably not here, it's probably a bit further down. Wait, no, I think, yeah, this might be it. Yes, well, this was easy to get. To Fantastic. Um, hey, you do realize the battle is won. Philip, is that you? No, I'm not Philip. Oh, oh, hey, um, what happened? What happened here? We were on patrol, five of us, looking for supplies. Overwhelmed by undead, I, I ran. I. Please, please take this to Commander Jehan. In the citadel, in, in the, the north. Tell her. Tell her. Okay, so did she die only because I asked her what was going on, or what?
What else is supposed to go with this thing? To the north? Wait. Would that require me to fix the bridge? You mean I have to go back? And fix that? No, isn't that just like a place I can cross down here? Oh no. Oh no, not this again. I, I, I'm not gonna complain right now. I'm, I'm going to see if there isn't a place along the river where I can cross. But I'm serious, I have to go all the way back to my castle to just tell somebody to instantly fix the bridge and then go back again. I'm going to allow myself to be kinda pissy because I already pointed out how much of a bullshit waste of time this is for everybody involved. Why do. What does it add that it can't just say fix this now? It's not like, you know, it's even being chant, it would be chanting to add. I mean, you already just go, oh, hey, then everybody moved into the castle, like, whoosh, because you blew in a horn. Yeah. That didn't suspend disbelief. So why can't it just be like, I need to influence my power here? I mean, fair enough that I can also do it at the map. That's fair enough. But really, what does it add? No one's been able to answer me this. And really, isn't it just because there isn't an answer? Yeah. There isn't a sensible answer to that. It adds nada, nothing, zero, ninch, null and x, nothing. The only thing it does is stretch the game out unnecessarily and test my patience, which as you might have started to guess, is beginning to be rather limited when it comes to this game. And it's unnecessarily long, drawn out, grinding down of my investment in it. So once we've done all this, once we've gone back and forth a couple of times, once we, you know, built the bridge and once we delivered that ring and once we've done everything here in the end, what was accomplished? Think about it. You may say, oh yes, but you did some things. Yes, but it's not much of a feeling of accomplishment if it's just NPCs move in. It's just, there's not much of a grand feeling of accomplishment. It's just like, oh yes, you did that. Congrats, here's some points and a meter moves and shit. What do you want? Well, I don't know, how about some cutscenes? Some interactions with the NPCs? Some story? You know, because this is a role-playing game. You might have heard about those made a cobble before. Does it ring a bell? Do I really have to go back and fix that fucking bridge? Yes, I do. What the hell? <sighs> Why? Who the hell thought this was a good idea? I can, why can't I travel there? Why can't I travel there? Am I in combat? Why am I in combat? What are these people doing down there? Get up here. Are we in, are we in combat with the wolves? What, the, what, you, what do you mean soldier guys do something? You're being invaded by wolves! Were they trying to make Dragon Age the MMO but just gave up halfway through? Is that what I'm experiencing? Is that what happened? Put your sword down! I want to go back so I can build that stupid bridge! How far away from those wolves do I have to move? There we go! Ugh! 